Hello everyone, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and welcome back to my Let's Play walkthrough of Final Fantasy Explorers. I apologise for the delay on videos guys, my monitor broke so sadly I was uh, unable to record any more footage, but anyway I'm back in action now. I haven't done any more of the game off camera because obviously I want to uh, show it to you guys on this Let's Play. I did actually create a weapon off camera though, just before. Um, I think it's a mace, isn't it? Let's just switch screens so you can see. Uh, yeah, battle mace. I'm not sure what class I can use that with. Maybe monk, but I can't use it with the knight class, which is what I currently am. Um, also, I can actually change my class to a few others including the black mage but for now i think i'm gonna play around with knight a little bit more to be honest because i haven't played much of it other than on the tutorial quests so i want to give it more of a chance right so i think we should go ahead and head over to this crystal and see what it has to offer you can learn abilities by spending cp at the central crystal for details, please see Ability Basics. Logging Custom Abilities. Information about new custom abilities will be saved in the Central Crystal Log. Select them to learn them. The log can hold a maximum of 300 entries. Once that's reached, entries will be overwritten, oldest ones first. Prevent entries from being overwritten by marking them as keepers. Relinquishing custom abilities. You can erase learned custom abilities on the view relinquished ability screen in exchange for CP. Renaming custom abilities. From view relinquished select rename to change the name of a custom ability. Maximum 16 characters. Okay, so let's have a look. Learn abilities. Ooh, definitely want cure then. Restore a small amount of HP to a uh, locked ally or yourself if no ally is locked. Definitely want that. Um, Asuna, Isuna, however you say that, remove status ailments and debuffs from allies within range of you. Uh, then we've got some magic. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to use magic to be honest um, as a knight. I might buy one, probably fire. Um, just to see if I can use it. It'd be cool if you can use a little bit of uh, attacking magic as well in that class, but I don't know. Right, let's have a look. Explosive Fist. Physical attack, strike with four punches, a combo counter, ramps up damage if you land blows without interruption. It's a knuckle skill. Sword skills, here we go. Deflect, this is what I want since I'm a knight. So deflect, assume a defensive stance and nullify attacks, raising malice, hold down the button to expend AP and maintain the stance, ooh. Sonic steel, physical attack, unleash a sonic wave that deals damage and sends you flying back, raises mobility on landing. Blood weapon, wow, blood weapon, let's have a look. Physical attack. Steal HP from enemies. The amount increases if you have just blocked an enemy with deflect. So I should buy deflect. And then that blood weapon complements it. I'll probably just buy all of these actually. There we go. Axe skills, club skills. So I'm not going to go through all of these yet. I might go through them later. But that'll do for now. Okay, so equipment. Oh, it's abilities, isn't it? There we go. Abilities. So I'm still learning the game. Obviously, this is only my third video. So let's remove this for now. We're going to put the flex on that. Blood weapon seconds, because I know it complements it. Sonic Steel, Moonlight Slash, we want Provoke, and I want Cure, and I'll put Fire on as well. Uh, 
Right, that's fine. And those are my stats at the moment. Right, I think we are good to take on a new quest now, so let's go ahead and go over to the quest counter. Welcome back. So we've done all the tutorial quests now, so we've got a couple of one different ones here. Um, defeat five goblins, defeat five toads, uh, scavenge and obtain 20 items. So let's do the goblins first. Right, so let's just familiar, uh, get familiar with where I've placed these spells and whatnot. So, uh, using the R shoulder button, I've got Provoke and Cure and Fire. Oh, so cool. So I can still use Fire. That's nice, actually. So if I want to get a bit of distance, I can. So that's cool that I can still use Fire Magic as a knight. Um, then on the left shoulder button I've got Deflect, Blood Weapon, Sonic Steel and Moonlight Slash. Let's try Deflect. Sweet! That's really awesome actually! I like that. Right, let's do Sonic Steel now. Moonlight Slash. I don't know, it's it's interesting actually because one of the uh, people that I want to play with, which is my friend and he's a YouTuber called So Hellkite, he said he's going a white mage, which was actually what I was considering going at first, but since he's going that... I'm tempted to stick with this close up and personal class and also I've got a bit of magic as well so that would be cool hmm be honest I could do with having provoke on uh, with all these other moves because I could do with having provoke then deflect and then blood weapon all in one place so I'll have to switch that when I go back because uh, that would be a lot more handy I'm just gonna press skip if you press start, you can skip this waiting period. Um, let's gather these first of all. I forgot about that <laughs> on the previous episode, that you're able to press start and skip. Okay, so let's move these abilities around a bit. Hmm. Let's start from the beginning. So really, I won't provoke the... Then I want Deflect, then I want Blood Weapon. Just reading it. Um, probably Sonic Steel. And then we're going to have Cure, Fire and Moonlight Slash on the other side for now. 
Right, next quest. Explore. Help the shop girl defeat five toads. I think I need to crop that right hand of the screen a little bit more. There's a little line on the loading on the right hand side. I'll sort that out for the next video guys. It's not too bad, you can't really notice it when uh, we come out of the loading screen. How do I actually use my shield? Like block with it? I'm pressing different buttons and it does nothing. That's a great combo. Use provoke, then hold down deflect, and then attack with that blood. What's it called? Blood weapon. There we go. Haha! Right, I'm supposed to be looking for toads. Instead, I'm just killing other shit. <laughs> I assume they're going to be near the water. seen any yet. Where are you pesky toads? I don't see you. Maybe I can go to this next area. Into the cave, maybe. see any toads man ah oh, look at the water that's pretty there's like barriers in the way so I assume I can't go through there Trying to look up and see if I can 
Right, I don't think it's in here. I think we should go back out. Trying to adjust the camera there. So if you guys look at the map now... There's another way up this way, so I'm going to try this direction. See the blue line in the bottom right on that map? So we can go through there. Oh no, it's blocked off, never mind. <laughs> Is there another way over here or not? Yes there is. I don't think this is blocked off. I don't see any barrier so it might be through here, the toads. Yay, we found them guys, finally! it's five of these we need to destroy. Come on Mr. Toadie. I pressed provoke. Was he not in range then? Did I do it when he was just out of range? is actually oh okay I think he's poisoned me there <laughs> you little bugger you little toady bugger <laughs> Apparently this gets a lot more fun um, when you get a monster companion to join you, but to be honest I'm having quite a bit of fun now. Wow, pretty! Look at that, that's really nice. Well, the graphics aren't amazing, but <laughs> what the hey, it's still pretty. Looks better on the uh, small screen of the handheld, obviously. Maybe I should get that spell that cures uh, status ailments. If I, was, if I was playing alongside my friend, he would be curing me, but I think it's going to be handy for me to have that um, single player to cure those poisons and whatnot. I suppose I could buy items instead. I'm not pressing start to skip this bit because I feel like I'll try and gather as much as I can. Materials wise. Wow, I earned quite a lot of money that time, over a thousand gil.
Jesus Christ, it's windy outside. <laughs> right, before I talk to that dude, I want to have a look at equipment and whatnot. Um, forge new. Green hat. I don't even know what I've got equipped at the moment. Um, I don't have anything on my head, but I've only got novice tunic and novice boots. Good day. <laughs> Look at that hat. That's quite funny. Um, green jacket. Should I dress myself up in green? <laughs> Why not? Let's go for the hat first though because I don't have anything on my head at the moment. Green hat is created. Green boots. Green jacket. I've already got that. So this will be my full first full set of equipment actually. There we go! Let's full screen it. Pretty happy with that. I look pretty cool. I like that green hat. <laughs> oh that's quite cool. Yay I've got my first outfit guys. Oh, okay, so it allows me to escape battle more quickly. Because I was thinking to myself, what's the point in having a shield if I can't actually block with it? Is it just for decoration, but it does have a skill on it as well? wonder if I can do, like, unlock a class that allows me to dual wield two swords. That would be awesome. <laughs> Anyway guys, I'm going to go ahead and stop this episode here and on the next episode we shall go and speak to that guy over there. Uh, I might also buy some stuff from the crystal as well or see what I can get. So don't forget to like, comment, favourite, share and of course subscribe if you haven't done so already. All those things do help me out as a YouTuber. Remember with this Let's Play walkthrough guys, likes and comments are very important because I am busy with other games. So if it gets a lot of uh, interaction from you guys, I will try my best to get videos out sooner and continue the series. So as always, thank you for watching and take it easy guys.